Okay, made a little progress today. Got my rotors put on. Got to put my shocks in still. Get my tie rod ends once the su suspension comes up and level it out. The rack is on there. Got both sides bolted together. Got my spacer in there like it's supposed to be. Need to remove that spacer on the top so we can put our cotter pin in. Put the rest of this together. But the big progress for today is the rear end is in. So we got our boxing plates on the ends. Got our frame notched for our upper control arm so when it swings up. And uh, yeah, so the front cross member is two by three steel. We used uh, 5 8 inch gas pipe for a spacer between the uh, factory bushings. 5 8 inch bolt welded it on top of there. Box the inside of the frame on both sides. Here, front and back. And uh, we zed this because if we run it straight, it would run across the pinion flange. This is up and over. We got some clearance in between there. Uh, so that'll be in. And then the next thing we got to do, like I said, we got our, our plates here. They're on there. Uh, to box this all in, we'll, like I said, everything's just tack welded in right now, but that's just a straight across piece of two by three. Same thing with the gas pipe for the, for the bushings. Instead of there, uh, hardened bolts, nuts welded on top. Um, so tomorrow, these are our coil springs. They sit down in the factory pockets. Uh, I'm gonna get some plate that comes off the frame, eight inches out, a five and a half inch diameter bucket for that to fit up inside. And then we'll have some angle pieces coming down. We'll box the back part of this frame. So we're making progress. Hopefully today is Friday uh, evening. And so hopefully by Sunday afternoon, this dude will be back on the ground and we'll be having a roller.